I took a co-worker's parking spot after they complained I was arriving late. My commute to work got progressively longer and unpredictable over the past year due to four bridge closures occurring within months or weeks of each other. No date has been given for their reopening. So for the time being, short of heading off for work an hour or two ahead of time, you risk arriving a minute to five minutes late once or twice a week. Everyone has been impacted by the traffic in one way or another which I mention because there was no way someone could feign ignorance. One co-worker, though, didn't care about legitimate reasons for my being slightly late for work every now and then, and complained so adamantly behind my back about it that my immediate supervisor reluctantly wrote me up. I knew it had to be that one co-worker because they would get noticeably irritated whenever traffic conditions were brought up, they would leave the room, loudly interrupt with unimportant questions or comments, or roll their eyes. They're also known for complaining about every little thing. At one point having played a big role in not having a seasonal employee rehired the following year. Despite that co-worker, I love my job, so I started leaving for work an hour and a half earlier than before. My arrival time is now anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes before my shift starts. And that's when I noticed the annoying coworker always arrives about 10 minutes early and always has a very convenient street parking space available. I used to park on a different side of our building before traffic got bad and had never noticed that they'd unofficially claim that public parking spot as theirs. Most of the time. I'm at work early enough to get my pick of any spot in our always crowded employee parking lot. But no parking spot other than theirs makes up for my having to wake up at 530 in the morning. That coworker can't complain about my being late now. They know better than anyone that I'm at work way before I have to. I've mentioned my arrival time to other coworkers with them in earshot. So they know I'm parking there out of spite. I've also gone as far as parking right in the middle of a space large enough to accommodate their car. And mine, I have no idea if they've complained to our supervisor about it or not. But I really want them to have been stupid enough to complain about my taking their public parking. Spot away. I am very thankful my work does flex hours. I know it's not a possibility for every job but as an office worker it's great. My work only cares that we hit the min 40 hours a week so some people who have more traffic arrive at 10 and leave at 7. I would start loudly bragging about this great parking spot you found now that you arrived to work so early. ETA. Thanks for the love, y'all. Op. There's no shame in your game. Someone went out of their way to put you down. Don't hesitate to give them a dose of their own medicine repeatedly. You should request to start work early by 30 minutes so you can also leave early by 30 minutes. Then you aren't wasting your time and get to see the look on their face that you get to leave earlier than they do and get to keep using their great parking spot. Add to their ire by inviting another coworker to park with you grin. Ha, oh, that's hilarious and also disappointing that co-workers can't be a little more chill. That co-worker should be shunned except for work-related issues. I think the play here is to say that nothing has changed but that you notice that the other person is now coming in after you. That would force that person to admit that you are coming in early, rather than proclaiming it yourself. Something like, people think that I was pushing it not coming in on time. But I noticed that, nosy persons, parking spot is always empty when I get here so I started taking it. I used to have a problem like this, but backwards at a job pre-COVID. I ride the bus to and from work, so sometimes things get monumentally screwed up. To avoid this I'd take the next earlier bus. 
which unfortunately due to the time of day and wacky bus schedule meant I was consistently arriving an hour early to work. Unfortunately, management then decided because I was at work, I should be working and would insist I start early. Later in the day other management would insist I had to stay until I was scheduled to leave. So I was consistently day to day getting at least an hour of overtime. So of course I was threatened with being written up for getting overtime. Tired of this stupid tug of war, I changed my availability to start half an hour later allowing me to have enough time to reliably get to work on time without being extraordinarily early. Nobody liked this, and I was even privately threatened with being written up for changing my schedule so I couldn't work early anymore. I ignored them. Unsurprisingly, that threat evaporated as if it had never happened. They knew what they could get away with and I was done playing their game. It sounds like it's none of their business when you arrive and what your reasoning is. They aren't your boss. As long as your arrival time doesn't hinder their ability to do their job that can shut up. Taking two spots is a hard no for me, even out of spite. I routinely get to work an hour early. And having the pick of the litter when it comes to parking spots is a huge perk. Seems to me you're the loser here, arriving 1,545 minutes early each day. Not really malicious compliance, more petty revenge. Closed four bridges within a couple of months. Are you coincidentally from Germany? So I am in an outside sales position and I have to get in my car and leave work quite often. The inside sales guys, on the other hand, show up to work and work their shift and go home. Where they park shouldn't matter much. There's a new guy in inside sales that had the audacity to tell me I took their parking spot after. They left for lunch one day. I laughed it off until I found out they were actually pissed and had brought it up to a few other people. Now I park there every chance I get. It is nice to have a close spot since i have to leave so often but i'd be lying if i said that were the motivation short of heading off for work an hour or two ahead of time you risk arriving a minute to five minutes late once or twice a week so i started leaving for work an hour and a half earlier than before my arrival time is now anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes before my shift starts you sure showed them figuring out how time works. So I started leaving for work an hour and a half earlier than before. Ah, all OP does to get this small bit of satisfaction is leave an extra hour and a half for work every day, 30 plus hours a month, about 375 hours a year. Well done? Jesus Christ I'm glad I work with adults. I don't understand how you being late has any effect on the other person. I really want them to have been stupid enough to complain about my taking their public parking spot away. My friend was a public defender. And they always got to court early so they could claim the table closest to the jury which was normally for the prosecution. No rule that it was though. And my lawyer friend knew the jury would be more sympathetic to a defendant they're closer to. Moving to that table was a win-win. Either he'd get the table or he'd force the other lawyer to look like a little baby in front of the judge and jury when they demanded to switch tables. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.